Are you questioning that you still love him or her, the narcissist? Don't blame yourself. Everyone wonders it as well. So I've written down these questions, and I've got this all written out on, on the end of the, the slides here. There will be a link to download it and um, answer them at home for yourself. This will help you figure out. Ask yourself, what is love? What does it look like? Um, what does the person that I love look like? Ask yourself and write it down. What does love look like? Sometimes we forget what we are expecting and therefore the bar gets lowered. So write it down. Does he or she support your interests? These are questions I want you to write the answers down to. Are you supported to have your own friends and time? Often narcissists don't let us have friends and they steal our time. Is the person that you're thinking of loving and kind? And I'm not just talking when they get in trouble or they get caught for cheating. Are they loving and kind all the time? Are they true to their word? Can you trust them? That's the most important thing. Do they go out of their way to show you their love? And again, not just after they've done something wrong. These are things you have to remember and look at. Do your feelings get validated? I'm thinking maybe not, because you're here on a narcissist site. Are you allowed to disagree? This is important. You have to be able to have your own opinion. This person make you feel secure enough that they will never cheat. That's an important thing to count on as well. If you don't believe that they are ever faithful, something to note. Are there inconsistencies in the story that they tell you? Is he or she always kind? Kindness means they go above and beyond what they have to do to make others happy. Narcissists keep um, their friends and their, their love life separate sometimes. So do they introduce you to their friends? Do they introduce you to your their family? Sometimes we run into a situation where you are the hidden one. We never want to be hidden again. Do they have real friends or sort of friends? Sort of friends means you hear about them, but you actually never see them doing anything with them or they don't call. This is a big one. Do they have secret friends? So often narcissists have this dual life. So if the phone rings up and it's someone you don't know and they won't tell you who it is, is it a lover? Is it an old friend? And why can't you know? Do they know something that you can't learn? Red flag. How does this person make you feel? Do you feel secure and at peace? Secure means they're not going to cheat. If you have children with them, are they a good mom or a good dad? Are they always there for the kids' activities? Some families can't have both parents at the soccer game, but do they try? Do they provide security for the kids to be themselves, or are they always judging them? Maybe they're not good enough. If you've got kids with them, do they help with the kids without being asked? We should not have to nag or demand that someone takes care and acts and plays with their kids. Is he or she verbally abusive? Are you ever afraid when they get angry? 
This is something we need to know. If it hurts inside and you feel that you might be in danger. How often do they get angry? Is it happening all the time or is it once in a blue moon? And is the anger calmed down or rational? Are you afraid to speak up? Often, if we do, we get yelled at. Do you feel like you're walking on eggshells? Walking on eggshells means you're afraid to speak up. If they've done something wrong and you're afraid to tell them, that's walking on eggshells. Do you get confused often? Things that they say, things aren't adding up. You're confused by things. I was. Do you get confused when they tell you that you did something that you know you didn't do? This is the the red flag of gaslighting. We get confused because we know we didn't do it. Have you ever been afraid for your life? So many survivors talk about this all the time. And I was. It's not good. (laughs) Are you the generous with time and money? And do they hate drama? And yet somehow their lives are haunted by drama. Narcissists are always talking about the other people and the drama in their life. But when you're around a narcissist, they truly are haunted by drama. They're creating it. They're triangulating. They're smearing. This is the plot. Is it always someone else's fault? Narcissists do not take any accountability and they're always blaming everyone else. So um, if, if they're always someone else's fault, have they ever betrayed you in some way? Lying, cheating, smearing your name. That's a betrayal. Did they promise that they would never do it again? I know you don't have to think about that twice. Do you know if they kept that promise? And do you trust them? Do they talk badly about others? Remember, if a narcissist or anyone talks badly about someone on a regular basis, they will do it about you. Do they ever talk badly about you? Do you hear stories from your friends or their friends or your family? Do they hide money? Are you unsure of where your assets are? Narcissists love to steal money because they're entitled. Ask yourself these questions and then you will know if you love this person. So often we loved the person that they pretended to be and they pretended to be this person because we gave them the script of what we were looking for we gave them the script of what we wouldn't tolerate and here they are pretending to be that so of course you're going to love that if they have done some bad things to you you have to ask yourself Am I worth more? And do I deserve to be treated better? Right about now, you probably know if you love this person or not. You probably know what to do. It isn't easy. Let's keep learning what to do next. To download this worksheet, Go to NarcissistAbuseSupport.com is-this-love and I'll put a link up on top.